I've known Anne since 1975, I think. <laughs> Anticipating speaking to you this evening, I've discovered that the Irish have a toast for everything. Stubbing the toe, mowing the lawn, throwing rocks into the stream. The main wish I have for, for Hal and Anne is that today is the saddest one that the two of them ever experienced. We wish them all the best to Hal and Anne. When we first saw one another was in church on Sunday, and the next day I get a call from Hal Joyce. Gunner, he says, by the way, do you need anything done in your house? And I said, oh boy, here's a live one. And ever since then, whenever there was a jam in my house and something broke, I would call Hal Joyce. So I came up with this idea to give him the nickname Moses because Moses uh, freed the Israelites from the Pharaoh. As a result, I felt that he was entitled to that nickname, and I want to thank him for all the wonderful days. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, you have now joined hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I do. <laughs> Let me actually say the vows first. <laughs> Hal, do you take Anne to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Anne, do you take Hal to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life? I do. It is now my great privilege to introduce as the first time as husband and wife, Hal and Ann Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> 